What's up guys, welcome back to another Revit Tools video. In this video we'll be covering model lines and you can find them in the architecture tab under this model section here, model line. So if I click model lines, what I have is all these default line types and I'm just in a basic out of the box Revit template so there's nothing special here. It's, it's the same thing as detail lines. I have these same options whether it's a detail line or a model line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit LI for model line, which is the default shortcut, and I'll just start drawing lines. I can, I can see a line right there. In a previous video, I covered these different line type, not necessarily line types, but ways to draw lines under the draw tool here. You can see all these different ways of drawing the lines in that video, and I'll have that link in the description. It's going to be for detail lines, but this video is specifically for model lines and how they're different. So how are they different than detail lines? Well, model lines are their actual lines and because they're called model lines, they'll show up in 3D. So that's really important because if I now go to a 3D view, I can see that that line is exactly where I placed it on level one. It's gonna default to the ground level. In this case, it's gonna be on the level itself, so on level one. So it's on level one, and I can see that the work plane is set to level one, just like I drew it. I can select a different style here if I want to. I can change that to a wide line for in this case. I can see that it's not a detail line because that detail line check box has no check mark. I can get the length, and then I actually, because it is considered a true model element, I can see that I can give it a phase. So this model line can actually be demolished, I can have it be existing, and all the overrides for the phases will show up in that case, which is really helpful. You can see that now I've changed it to existing and it's no longer black. It's got that gray tone that all existing items do out of the box. And I can even choose to demolish it if I want to. So it becomes a real modeled element. And that means it's going to show up in every view. And this is really nice. So if I were to go to a sheet, I'll go down to my sheets, and if I add this level one floor plan, I can now see it there. It's in the view. And if I also go back to the 3D view, it's right there. So this line is showing up everywhere. Obviously, it would not show up in a section just because you, if you cut a line, it's, you've got the single point. It's not going to work. So it's not necessarily meant for that. But you can actually place model lines or any types of lines that you want that are considered model lines on different faces. So what I can do is I can pick a new work plane for this line in particular. By edit work plane, I can pick a plan. Maybe I want to put it on the side of this wall. But because I drew it on level one, I'm, I'm forced to only place it on work planes that are parallel to level one. So I can place it up here at the top of this wall and that line will now move to the top of this wall, this wall being 20 feet tall. So this, this line is now 20 feet. But what I can do also is I can pick a new host in general. So I pick a new host, this line, I have the option to put it really anywhere at this point. But again, because I placed it in that level one floor plan view, I'm, I'm kind of stuck with uh, planes that are parallel to that. So I can place it on the edge of this wall and remarkably it goes to level one because that wall is hosted to level one as well. But typically what I, I'm not going to be moving model lines around quite like that. So what I'll typically do is I'll go to set a different work plane and I'll pick a different work plane and maybe I want that work plane to be on this wall. So I've set it to the work plane and I can show the work plane being on that wall. And if I ch choose model line by hitting LI, I have all the, the different options that I have normally. But you can see that the placement plane is set up for the wall. It's on the side of the wall. So now I can draw these lines on the side of the wall and they'll show up. So if I go to, I believe the south elevation view, I can see these lines show up. Now, if I were to draw detail lines just like that, in this view, they'll show up. But in 3D, they're not going to show up because they're not model lines. This brings me to my next point. If I go back to this elevation and I know that these are detail lines because I've got the check marks there, I actually have the option of converting these to model lines. Now, I can't do that in this view, but what I can do is I can change these model lines into detail lines. So I can, I'll choose these lines in 3D, 
I will go to go back to my south elevation view and I can actually convert these lines and what the convert option does up here is it's going to change these model lines into detail lines and so the second I do that you can see that Revit converted four lines perfect that's exactly what I had I can still see them but now when I select them the check marks for detail lines is checked right there they're detail lines and if I go back to 3d my guess is they won't be there and they're not there because they're now detail lines and like I said in a previous video and I'll say it again, detail lines only show up in 2D views. Just like this elevation, only is a 2D view. Now, unfortunately, I can't change them back from this view, unfortunately, because I think it's because I didn't necessarily draw them in this view. So I'll go to detail line, and I'll draw a line right there. Unfortunately, the reason I can't convert these lines is because this is not a plan view. To get them to show up in 3D again, I can go back to my level one view. I'll draw a few detail lines here, just like that. I'll select them all, and now I have the option of converting them because it's a plan view. So if you just remember that, you want to make sure that all the lines that you want to become model lines from detail lines, maybe you're tracing something, or maybe you accidentally made them detail lines in a plan view, you can always convert them to model lines in a plan view. So I'll go back to my 3D view and I can see that my lines that I just drew as detail lines and converted to model lines are now showing up. That's great. This is something I did not share in the previous video for detail lines, so I'll cover it right now. But if I go to model line, like I said in the beginning of the video, these are different line types that you can draw and use these different types of lines to draw throughout your project and this applies th for model lines as well as detail lines so where are these line types and how can you change them edit them make them look different whatever they're actually located if you go to manage additional settings and line styles I'll expand this lines category you can see all the different line types and you'll notice that all of these different line types are ones we had options to draw there are a few here like area boundary room separation, like you can't necessarily draw those lines because they exist within Revit. But needless to say, these are the types of lines that you can draw and from here you can begin to edit these the way they look and function. But this is another thing and this is very important to be aware of that these, again, I'm out of a, a basic Revit template. This is nothing special, this is an architecture template. You can't change or delete really any information as far as the naming or just deleting these because they're they're built into Revit. It's, it's hard to explain, but they're just built in. And you'll know that they're built into Revit if I if you come over here and when you want to modify the subcategories, these are all these line types are considered subcategories of the category lines. If I choose medium lines and I just I don't want let's say I don't want medium lines anymore, I can't actually delete it and I also can't rename it. <laughs> so you're basically stuck with all these line types you see here. And it's not a bad thing, it's just more that you might have to scroll through, it's not the end of the world, but you can actually edit these. So maybe I want my medium lines to show up as four instead of three, I can change them to blue in this case. I can do really anything that I want as far as editing them, but I can't rename them or delete them because just because they're built into Revit. It's just the way it is, I, I don't have any other way of saying it. It's just the way it is. That said, Maybe you want to make an extra wide line. You can actually go to new subcategory and I'll call this extra wide and I'll choose the subcategory of lines because that's the only option I would have. I see extra wide and maybe I want this to be a full 10 pin weight. It works just the same. As soon as I do that, now I have the option of changing or drawing using that new line type. So I'll go to model line and now you can see extra wide is right there and it's considered a 10 pin weight right there and you can see it's very thick. That's great. It's very simple and it's funny because you can still see that because my work plane is set on the edge of the wall, it's showing up on that same work plane as if it were on the wall like that. So that was a quick rundown of model lines and where you might use them in your project, how, and that they show up in 3D. Always remember that. If you enjoyed this video, please demolish that like button. It really helps. 
Also subscribe if you enjoyed this video. There are lots more videos coming out, always coming out with a few a week. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.